Well, most of the way I think I got my passion for film was that my mother, um, when I was a kid, she would always take me to see these um, old black and white 40s movies and she would always, they would be always in the original language and she's an interpreter so she would simultaneously translate for me the, friend, the films in French and you know even though it was supposed to be her time off she would be working again for me and I think that played a big part in you know developing my passion for film. I admire maybe people from the past a little more than I do now. I think Orson Welles said all the great performances uh, were captured in black and white and in a way that's kind of true so I guess I like a lot of the um, I, I like the older style of uh, method, the original method actors, I think, are the most inspiring for me. I used to be an opera singer, so the first Maverick that, that inspired me was Maria Callas, um, just for the way that she changed the world of opera uh, from a very representational kind of acting to this very real, um, deeper, uh, truthful acting. To me, it was just anyone who was willing to be dedicated to be creative. In Australia, growing up, you're often um, steered towards a more traditional path, whether it's law or medicine, because we don't really believe there's an audience for the arts, or at least an audience for the arts that will sustain you in any meaningful way. So we're often um, pushed to think of the arts as a hobby or something extracurricular to our main profession. And so Russell Crowe and Kate Blanchett and Heath Ledger to a lesser extent, just because he's young, he was younger, um, but they all created this kind of ethos or really a feeling in Australia that we could do anything we wanted, that we could succeed on a global level rather than just a local level.